Molly Mayhague has been showing off her natural hair after ditching her extensions following the rapid growth of her locks due to pregnancy. The former Love Island star took to her YouTube channel where she uploaded a vlog-style video documenting her pregnancy journey. The PLT creative director spoke to the camera about how she had decided to remove her hair extensions due to finding her natural had grown a lot since she became pregnant. However, she told her fans that one of her hairstylists told her that because she has experienced hair growth in pregnancy it could be that she may go through postpartum hair loss when the baby arrives. She explained to her viewers, as I said in my last vlog, I have actually had my extensions taken out now so I have a full head of natural hair and I don't have my extensions in and I have the time before I don't have the time, I want to be putting hair masks in. My natural hair is definitely getting a lot better and I do think pregnancy has done favors for it. But unfortunately my hairdresser Jack, my hairstylist told me that if your hair has improved through pregnancy then it sometimes means that you're going to suffer more when baby is born through postpartum hair loss. So I don't know, obviously I'll keep you guys updated with that. Molly May has been keeping her followers updated throughout her entire pregnancy, often sharing the highs and lows of her journey. The influencer revealed that she has had her baby girl's name picked out before she even became pregnant. She took part in a Q&A with fans on her Instagram recently, with one fan asking how she came up with her baby girl's name. There was only ever one name for her. I've had it picked out for years and years. She answered the fan. Luckily Tommy loved it too, even if he hadn't I would've had to talk him round because like I say, there was only one ever name she was having. Molly May hasn't revealed an exact date she is due to give birth but at the end of December she said she only has a couple of weeks left. Molly May explained, I know I've not been, like, specific with dates, and due dates, and everything but I'm not obviously at the very end of my third trimester. I have done most of it. The reality star continued, I literally only have a couple of weeks left now before I give birth. It's crazy. I'm still not going to be specific about due dates like I've been. That's literally my most asked question, 